Okay, this video tutorial looks at the mathematical strand of measurement and geometry and more specifically we're going to focus on our understanding of our basic trigonometry. So some words you're going to need to know for this video tutorial are first of all the hypotenuse. Now the hypotenuse if you don't know already is the longest side of any triangle. So in this particular case this is the hypotenuse here. Okay, and uh, some a little trick to remember is that the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle in a right angle triangle. Okay, so it's always the side that's opposite the right angle. The next thing you're going to need to know is I'm going to skip ahead here and talk about the sine theta. Okay, the Greek sine theta. It's used to represent angles. In this particular case. There's our theta, we're looking at this particular angle. So when we label a triangle with opposite or adjacent, that's in relation to where the theta is or to where the angle is that we're talking about. So we always label those angles or unknown angles as theta. And then after that, we can label our opposite, okay, because our opposite is the side that is opposite the angle theta. So that means this angle or this length here, sorry, is opposite. And our last one that we're going to label is our adjacent, and the adjacent is the side that is next to theta, which is this side here. So this would be our adjacent. Now, if, for example, theta was then put up here instead, okay, then the opposite and the adjacent would switch, but the hypotenuse would stay exactly the same. Okay, so these are some equations that you're going to need to know when we're looking at problem solving with trigonometry. Now on your scientific calculator, you're going to have these three buttons, okay, at the top here, sine, cos, and tan. Now we're going to use those three buttons, and it's going to depend on what information we've already got, as opposed to which um, button we're going to use. Now, if you are given a problem, and looking at our first example here, I'll call this A, we know we've got a length that's the hypotenuse. All right, so we're going to look at using a formula that's got hypotenuse in it. So straight away, we could either be looking at sine or we could be looking at cosine because the, the tan formula does not have a hypotenuse in it. All right. Now, we also know that the length opposite theta okay, is the opposite. So we're actually looking for a formula that has the opposite and the hypotenuse in it. If we look at the cosine and the sine rules or the, the equations, we can see that the sine equation, okay, the sine equation actually has our opposite, which is what we've got, and our hypotenuse, which is what we've got. So that's how we know we would use that equation. In our second example, let's call it B, We've again got a value for our hypotenuse, so we know straight away it's not tan. And here we've actually got the adjacent, so we've got our hypotenuse, and this is our adjacent because theta is right here. And we can see that our cosine has the adjacent, which is great, and has the hypotenuse, which is great. So therefore we're going to use that formula. Now, a way to remember these formulas, okay, um, is Sokotoa, all right, so Sokotoa is up here, sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and tan is the opposite over the adjacent. Okay, now you're going to need to know these equations, so I would suggest you write them down and get to know them. Okay, now we're going to look at some problem solving with trigonometry and using those equations that we've just talked about. So here we're trying to find a missing value x, x meters. Here we have our hypotenuse, we've got our theta value which is 50 degrees, and we're trying to find the length that is opposite 
the angle. So this becomes our opposite. Now our formula was sine of our angle, theta, was equal to our opposite over our hypotenuse. I'm simply going to put those values in and try and work out what the answer is. Now this becomes sine of 50 and that's going to equal x over 20. If I wanted to rearrange this formula, I could just multiply both sides by x, uh, by, sorry, by 20, and I would get, not a 5, sine 50 multiplied by 20 would give me my x value. I simply put that into a calculator, and my answer for x would be 15.32 meters. Here's another example of where we're trying to find the missing length. Now we've got our theta value, which is 25 degrees, and we've got our opposite value, which is 12 meters, but our x is actually our adjacent. So in this particular case, we don't have a hypotenuse. All right, and when we don't have a hypotenuse, we use the formula of tan theta. Tan is the opposite over the adjacent. In this particular case, tan of 25 is equal to 12 over x. Now if I wanted to rearrange this, I could multiply both sides by x, and I would get tan 25 x equals 12, then I could divide both sides by tan 25, and then that would leave me with x equals 12 over tan 25, and therefore I'd simply put that into my calculator, 12 divided by and that would give me an x value of 25.73 meters. Okay, when we're trying to find missing angles, we are still again going to be using these buttons, but we're actually going to be using the second function. Okay, the second function of those buttons or the shift of those buttons. Because instead of using sine, cos and tan, we're actually going to be using sine to the negative 1, cosine to the negative 1, and tan to the negative 1. So in this particular case, we still use our formulas, but it's just a slight tweak in what we do. So here, straight away, I can tell we've got our hypotenuse and we've got our adjacent. Okay, So I know I'm going to be using cosine. So the cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. I put in the formulas that I've, uh, the values I've got. Cosine of x is equal to 30 over 50. Work out what 30 over 50 is. So the cosine of x is equal to 0 0.6. Then I simply use the second function of my calculator. And that allows me to work out that x is actually 53 point one three degrees. Okay, we've now got some practice questions that I'd like you to have a go at. Uh, please feel free to pause the video uh, when the questions come up, have a go at them, and continue on when you think you've got the right answer, and we'll see how you went. Okay, so as stated, here are the practice questions to find some missing lengths. Uh, please feel free, free to pause the video, and when you think you've got the answers, continue the video. We'll see how you went. And uh, here's a practice question to find a missing angle of a triangle. Um, so again, remember, this is your second function button. Um, good luck. And when you think you've got the answer, uh, continue on, and we'll go through the answers to see how you went. Okay, so let's see how you went in the first question. Uh, we're trying to find a missing length. Uh, we know we've got our hypotenuse, and we've got our angle, and this is our opposite, so we're going to be using... The sine of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. In this particular case, the sine of 65, might rub that out, make it actually look like 65. Sine of 65 
is equal to x over 5. Essentially all I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 5 to get my x by itself. So the sine of 65 multiplied by x, uh, sorry, type multiplied by 5 gives me 4.53. So therefore, x is going to equal 4.53 meters. In our second example, uh, we are trying. We've got our hypotenuse. We are trying to find the adjacent. We've got our theta. So we know straight away. Oh, that's a really bad right angle in that triangle, isn't it? Whoops. Sorry about that. Um, so we're using our cosine. Cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. In this particular case, cosine of 15 is equal to x over 6.5. Just going to multiply both sides by 6.5. And then I end up with... An answer of 6. Point, basically 28 equaling x, therefore x equals 6.28 meters. Okay, so with this last one, we had to find the missing angle theta. Uh, we've got our hypotenuse and we've got the opposite, so we're going to use sine. Sine of theta is the opposite over the adjacent. Sine of x is equal to 3.5 over 5. I can essentially use my second function. Um, I would work out what 3.5 divided by 5 is. Um, that's going to give me 0.7. So second function sine 0.7. x therefore is going to be 44.4 .4 degrees.